Have you ever woken up with your heart racing, trying to grasp the fragments of a dream that felt more real than reality itself? What if I told you that those dreams could be more than just figments of your imagination? What if, nestled within those dreams, were divine messages crafted specifically for you? Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the secrets hidden in our dreams, secrets that could change your life forever. Dreams have been a mystical bridge between the earthly and the divine, a conduit through which God has communicated with His people since the beginning of time. Dreams are not mere happenstances, they are intentional and filled with purpose. And if you're here listening to this, it's no coincidence. This moment has been divinely orchestrated. The creator of the universe speaks to us in seven different and powerful ways while we sleep. Seven types of prophetic dreams, each carrying its unique message, waiting to be decoded by those with an open heart and a listening ear. So, get ready because what you're about to discover could awaken a new dimension of spiritual awareness in your life. Are you prepared to unlock the mysteries that God may be speaking to you while you sleep? Understanding the seven types of prophetic dreams, imagine the infinite ways God can reach out to you, guiding you, comforting you, warning you, all while you're in the deepest sleep. There are seven types of prophetic dreams through which God can speak to you, each revealing a different aspect of His divine will. Some dreams might be filled with symbols while others are more straightforward, but all have the power to impact your life profoundly. What makes these seven types so powerful? They are the personalized ways the divine chooses to communicate with us, knowing exactly what we need to hear and when we need to hear it. From dreams involving celestial beings like angels to hearing a divine voice, from symbolic dreams featuring animals and numbers to those that involve rainbows and mentors. Each carries a message that could be crucial for your spiritual journey. In this video, we will dive deep into each type, uncovering their meanings and how to recognize them. Stay tuned because what you learn could very well be the spiritual key you've been searching for. Dreams about angels. Have you ever dreamt of an angel? Its wings shimmering with divine light, its presence overwhelming you with an inexplicable peace. Dreams about angels are some of the most profound experiences one can have. These celestial beings are God's messengers, protectors, and guides, and when they appear in your dreams, they do so with a purpose. The Bible is filled with stories of angelic encounters in dreams that changed lives and shaped destinies. Take, for instance, the story of Jacob, who, while fleeing from his brother Esau, had a dream of a ladder reaching up to heaven with angels ascending and descending upon it. In that dream, God reiterated His promises to Jacob, confirming His covenant and divine protection. Jacob woke up, exclaiming, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. This dream was not just a source of comfort, but a powerful affirmation of God's presence and promises. Then there's the story of Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, who was guided by angels in dreams multiple times. An angel appeared to him, instructing him not to fear, taking Mary as his wife, to flee to Egypt to save baby Jesus from Herod's wrath, and later to return to Israel after Herod's death. These dreams were not mere nighttime fantasies. They were divine interventions that played a critical role in the fulfillment of God's plan for humanity. Dreams about angels could mean that God is sending you a message of comfort, guidance, or even a warning. If you've had such a dream, it's time to pay close attention. Pray and seek God's wisdom to understand what He is trying to communicate. Remember, these dreams are not to be taken lightly. They are moments when heaven reaches down to touch your life. Dreams about hearing a voice. Have you ever been jolted awake by a voice so clear, so resonant, that you could swear someone was right there speaking to you? Dreams where you hear a voice can be one of the most direct ways God communicates with us. These dreams bypass the symbols and metaphors and go straight to the heart of the message. The Bible provides powerful examples of God using dreams to speak directly to individuals through a voice. One of the most famous stories is that of Samuel. As a young boy living in the temple under the care of the priest Eli, Samuel heard a voice calling his name in the night. 
Thinking it was Eli, he ran to him three times until Eli realized that it was the Lord calling Samuel. Eli instructed him to say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel obeyed, God revealed to him a prophetic message about the judgment that would come upon Eli's house. This moment marked the beginning of Samuel's journey as a prophet of Israel. Another compelling story is that of King Solomon. After offering sacrifices at Gibeon, Solomon had a dream where God appeared to him saying, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon asked for wisdom to govern his people, and God granted him not only wisdom but also wealth and honor. This dream set Solomon apart as a king renowned for his wisdom and justice. God's voice in dreams is not always loud or forceful. Sometimes it's a gentle whisper that requires stillness and attentiveness to hear. If you dream of hearing a voice, consider it a call to action. It may be God giving you direct guidance, revealing His will, or offering comfort. Don't dismiss it. Lean into it. Pray and seek clarity. God's voice is a precious gift, and when He speaks, the wise listen. Dreams about animals. What does it mean when animals appear in your dreams? Are they random, or could they be messengers of deeper spiritual truths? Dreams about animals can be richly symbolic and carry profound meanings. Throughout the Bible, animals have often been used to convey God's messages. Messages that are sometimes encouraging, sometimes cautionary, but always significant. Consider the dream of Pharaoh, who saw seven fat cows followed by seven lean cows, and seven full ears of grain followed by seven scorched ones. This dream, interpreted by Joseph, signified seven years of abundance followed by seven years of famine. The animals in this dream were not just part of a random storyline, they were vital symbols used by God to warn Pharaoh of what was to come and to prepare his people. Or think about Daniel's vision of the four beasts rising from the sea, each representing a kingdom. These beasts symbolized empires and their characteristics, showing God's sovereign control over history. Each animal in the dream had a specific meaning, revealing divine truths about the future of nations and God's ultimate plan. Dreams about animals can reflect our inner struggles, our spiritual battles, or our need for divine guidance. They could symbolize strength, as with lions, deceit, as with serpents or purity, as with doves. If you dream about animals, take it seriously. Reflect on the nature of the animal, the context of the dream, and your emotions within it. Pray for discernment, for God might be revealing something significant about your life or the world around you. Dreams about rainbows. Have you ever dreamt of a rainbow arcing across the sky, vibrant and full of hope? In the Bible, rainbows are powerful symbols of God's promises, His faithfulness, and His grace. Dreams about rainbows are not just beautiful images. They carry profound spiritual meanings that can fill us with hope and reassurance of God's unwavering love. The first rainbow ever mentioned in the Bible was a divine covenant made with Noah after the flood. God said, I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. This rainbow was a symbol of God's promise never to destroy the earth with a flood again, a promise of mercy and grace. The rainbow served as a visual reminder of God's commitment to humanity, a promise that still stands today. In Ezekiel's vision, a rainbow surrounded God's throne, shining like a halo. This vision was a manifestation of God's glory and His covenantal faithfulness to His people. Similarly, in Revelation, John saw a rainbow encircling the throne of God, symbolizing His divine authority, grace, and faithfulness. Dreaming of rainbows can be God's way of reminding you of His promises and His faithfulness in your life. It could be a call to renew your trust in Him, even amid life's storms. If you've dreamt of a rainbow, reflect on God's promises in your life and ask Him to help you see His hand guiding you. Remember, even after the darkest clouds, the rainbow comes, a sign of hope, renewal, and divine love. Dreams about numbers. Numbers are everywhere, but in dreams, they are never arbitrary. 
Dreaming about numbers can be one of the most perplexing yet profoundly significant experiences. In the Bible, numbers carry deep meanings, representing divine messages, cycles of time and spiritual principles. Consider the dream of Pharaoh in Genesis. His dreams featured the number seven, seven fat cows, seven lean cows, seven full ears of grain, and seven scorched ones. Joseph's interpretation revealed that the number seven symbolized years, seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. The number seven is often associated with completion, perfection, and divine order in the Bible. On the other hand, we see the number 666 in the book of Revelation, the infamous number of the beast, representing imperfection and evil. The repetition of the number six, just one short of seven, signifies a failure to reach divine perfection, a stark contrast to God's completeness. Numbers in dreams are not just random figures. They can be keys to understanding God's plans and purposes for your life. If you've dreamt of numbers, take time to pray and seek understanding. Dive into the Bible to uncover the significance of those numbers, for they might hold the answer to a question you've been asking or the guidance you've been seeking. Dreams about mentors. Have you ever dreamt of a mentor or a spiritual guide, perhaps someone you look up to, or even a stranger? Dreams involving mentors or preachers can be profound messages from God about your spiritual growth and direction. Throughout the Bible, God uses dreams to send authority figures to guide, correct, and inspire His people. Think about the dream of young Joseph. He dreamt of himself as a leader with his brothers bowing to him. Though his brothers envied and hated him for it, this dream was a prophetic message of his future role as a savior for his family. Despite facing immense hardship, Joseph's dream became a reality when he rose to become the governor of Egypt, saving his family from famine. Another example is Gideon, who, while hiding in a winepress, was visited by an angel who called him a mighty warrior. Through this divine visitation and subsequent signs, Gideon was transformed from a timid man into a courageous leader who led Israel to victory. If you've dreamt of a mentor or preacher, it could mean God is calling you to seek wisdom and spiritual growth. It could be a nudge to learn from those who have walked the path of faith before you. Consider seeking a spiritual mentor, joining a community of believers, or diving deeper into God's Word to understand and apply the guidance you've received. Dreams about praying for others. Have you ever found yourself praying fervently for someone else in a dream? Dreams of intercession. Praying for others are not just emotional, they are powerful spiritual experiences that can shape destinies. The Bible is filled with stories where intercessory prayers in dreams brought about miraculous outcomes. One compelling story is that of Job. Despite his immense suffering, Job interceded for his friends who had falsely accused him, and God restored his fortunes, giving him twice as much as he had before. Job's prayer not only healed his friends, but also brought about his miraculous restoration. Another remarkable example is the early church praying for Peter, who was imprisoned and awaiting execution. As the church fervently prayed, an angel of the Lord miraculously freed Peter from prison. This event was a powerful testament to the effectiveness of intercessory prayer. Dreaming of praying for others could mean God is calling you to intercede for someone in your life. Don't ignore these dreams, they are divine invitations to stand in the gap for others, to bring heaven's influence into their lives. Pray, seek God's guidance, and act upon it, for your prayers could be the catalyst for someone's breakthrough. Obstacles to hearing God in dreams Why is it that sometimes we fail to hear God in our dreams? What are the barriers that prevent us from receiving His messages? The reality is that numerous obstacles both internal and external, can block our ability to hear God's voice in our dreams. One significant barrier is sin, which creates a separation between us and God. Isaiah says, Your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden His face from you so that He will not hear. But it doesn't end there. Another obstacle is spiritual noise, the distractions of daily life that drown out the still, small voice of God. 
Jesus highlighted the importance of choosing what's better in the story of Martha and Mary. While Martha was distracted by her duties, Mary sat at Jesus' feet, listening to his word. We too must prioritize quiet time with God to hear him more clearly. Fear and disbelief are also potent obstacles. They block our faith and our ability to receive divine messages. Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. If we allow fear and doubt to take root, we might miss out on the divine messages meant for us. To overcome these obstacles, we need to cultivate a deep, intimate relationship with God, live a life of repentance and actively seek His presence. When we do this, we open ourselves to the fullness of His communication, including the messages He sends us in dreams. How to hear God in your dreams. So, how can we tune our spiritual ears to hear God in our dreams? It starts with cultivating an intimate relationship with Him. This involves setting aside time daily for prayer, meditation, and reading His Word. Remember, my sheep listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me. This relationship requires intentionality and commitment. Creating a conducive environment for hearing God is also essential. Before going to bed, eliminate distractions, turn off electronic devices, and find a moment of stillness. Pray specifically, asking God to speak to you in your dreams and to give you wisdom to understand His message. And maintain an attitude of faith, believing that God desires to communicate with you. Keep a dream journal by your bedside and write down your dreams immediately upon waking. This practice helps capture the details that might fade away quickly. Review these dreams in light of biblical teachings and seek discernment from the Holy Spirit. If you encounter confusion, seek godly counsel and pray for clarity. Remember, God is not a God of disorder but of peace. Keep your heart open and His wisdom will guide you. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your presence and guidance. We thank you for the ways you speak to us whether through your word, through others, or through our dreams. Lord, open our spiritual eyes and ears to recognize your voice, especially in the stillness of the night. Help us discern the messages you send and give us the wisdom to apply them in our lives. Remove any barriers, be they sin, distractions, or disbelief that keep us from fully hearing and understanding you. Strengthen our faith and draw us closer to you so we may walk in your will and purpose. We pray for clarity and peace for anyone who feels lost or confused by their dreams. May your Holy Spirit illuminate their path and provide comfort and direction. Guide us all as we continue our spiritual journeys, and may your love and grace be evident in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.